Team Benton, welcome back to this week's Safe It Sunday. Today I'm going to show you how I make ginger chicken. Now this recipe was created by my mama years ago. I've been eating this since I was like two and it is one of my all time favorite dishes. And it's so simple to make because you don't need a lot of ingredients and it's done pretty quick. So I just wanted to share it with you guys because it seems to be a hit with a lot of people. And why not? So. This is all you're going to need. You're going to need about five to six boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We're going to cut these up into like one inch pieces. Then about three inches of raw ginger that we're going to peel and chop up. Either a quarter of a huge yellow onion or a half of a small one. Somehow I got these big ones right now and you know, they're just what can I say, they're big. And um, you're going to need a little bit of cornstarch towards the end, a little bit of low sodium soy sauce, or you can use a regular whatever you have on hand. And then this, you can usually find in like the, sorry, my rice is done. <laughs> usually you can find this in the international food section and it is oyster flavored sauce and if you don't use this it is just not the same so this is the key ingredient to this dish this and the ginger but um this one is by the brand Lee Kum Ki and I know there's most grocery stores carry this so um and you get a big bottle and it's like only four dollars so it's not even that bad but the other thing I do recommend is using sesame seed oil. So let me show you. I mean, it's not like um, it's not like a big deal, but I just have this one, and it's Chinese style sesame flavored oil. And there's just something about. I mean, I know this is like soybean oil, and it's not like olive oil, but there's just something when you use the sesame seed oil, it just makes a difference. But you can go ahead and use extra virgin olive oil, no big deal. The other thing we're gonna need is some water, which just, you know, we'll add that to the pot when we need it, and salt and pepper, of course, but that's pretty much all you need for this dish. So I'm just gonna start off by cutting up the chicken to save a little bit of time. So let me do that and then I'll be right back. All right, so I cut up my chicken thighs and I just put them in this little bowl. And now I am going to cut up the onion really quick and then place it in my pan. Okay, and then for my ginger, you want to peel it first, so, I mean, I, you can't really use like a peeler or anything, plus I don't even own like a potato peeler, but you just have to make sure you have a sharp little knife and you just peel like the, you know, top layer off. Okay, so I know it could be a little bit tedious, but it is definitely worth it. Okay, so let me just throw this away. Now I know ginger can be a little bit rooty and sometimes a little difficult to cut, but I will usually just like cut it in half and just, you know, do like the little slices. You don't want to make them too thick because sometimes it could be a little bit spicy and not everybody likes that. I mean, I love it, but not everyone does. And then I'm just going to add this to my pan. Okay, so now moving over to the stove, what you want to do is add about two tablespoons of the sesame seed oil or olive oil and you want to turn your heat up to medium and you want to cook your onions and the ginger until they become um, fragrant you don't want them to begin to brown or anything so maybe about two minutes before you add in the chicken so it's been about two minutes and it smells amazing we're just going to dump in the chicken
And then you just kind of want to do like a single layer and let the chicken like sear on all sides. So that'll be probably like another three or four minutes. And we're just gonna season with a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of sea salt. So basically every minute or so, you just kinda wanna give it a, a little stir here and there. Okay, so I have stirred it about three times and once you see that the chicken is beginning to brown a little on the edges, you know it's good. So what we're gonna do now is add in some cold filtered water and this is about two cups, maybe three cups. Depending on how much chicken you have, you, oh, I'm not gonna need all of it, but you kinda just wanna fill it up until it almost covers the chicken. And then we're just gonna turn the heat down to about medium low, and we're gonna cover it with the lid, and you're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes before you remove the lid, and then let the water reduce and all that good stuff. So I'll see you back in 15. Okay, so now I'm just gonna remove the lid and I'm gonna let this simmer for about another five to 10 minutes so most of the water can reduce. And now I'm just gonna turn the heat down to low and we're gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. So now I'm gonna add in an eighth of a cup of the oyster flavored sauce. about a teaspoon of the soy sauce and now what you want to do is you just kind of want to give it a good stir just make sure you mix everything up okay just like this now i'm going to add in the cornstarch so in a little um you know, cup or something, add about a teaspoon to like a teaspoon and a half, and I'm just gonna fill it with a little bit of water. And you're just going to mix up the cornstarch and make sure it's not lumpy or anything. Now I'm just going to add this in and make sure you stir it pretty quickly. So what the cornstarch does is it kind of thickens up your uh, liquid or your broth or whatever and creates kind of like a sauce so it'll be nice for your rice and the broccoli or whatever you know you like to serve this with but if you want it to be a little bit thicker go ahead and add a little bit more cornstarch but I like mine just like this. So once you, you can tell it's not super runny, but it's not super thick, you're good to go. Now you can go ahead and serve this with white rice, brown rice, whatever kind of veggies you'd like. I made white rice, so I got a half a cup of white rice. I have some broccoli here that I steamed, and now I'm gonna scoop out a little bit and just top everything off with that. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and it's amazing. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's Stay Fit Sunday. If you do give it a try, let me know. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.